my name is Roni Porat. I'm almost 57. I'm married to my beloved wife, Naama, and the father of four boys. For many years, I used to travel the world, get up on stages, turn my back on people, and wave my hands in uh, various strange ways. As you can recognize, I'm an orchestra conductor. Now you used to see people like this, orchestra conductors usually for, from their back, right? And now today you have the opportunity to face a real conductor. And even more than that, you have the opportunity to learn, because I will share, what does it mean to conduct from my point of view? Now, not only to conduct orchestra, to conduct life, to conduct business. How do we manage and how do we lead the only one person that we will be ever able to influence? The only one person that you can guarantee that will live with you until your last day on earth. The only one person that you really can trust as a partner in life. The person who is sitting right now in your chair, you, yourself. And this is personal leadership. How to work with ourselves, how to work with the managers. And you are great managers and you work with so many people. How do you work with yourself? How do we do it? How can we improve there? Now you have to know it as managers, that you have many people in your organization and they are very, very different in the way that they react. And they will always react in a different way because they have their own way of reactions. They have their own style. There are people who say yes. There are people who say, first of all, no. There are people who want to think about the things and wait. There are people who never talk. It doesn't mean that these are better than the others. They are all human beings, but they have their own style. And when we understand this, when we understand, and I teach communication styles, because we have to change ourselves as managers according to the communication style of our people. We have to catch it and change ourselves quickly. You can learn it. And then you create good communication between you and everybody. And this I have to know on stage because musicians are like this as well. They are different. And then we have to understand that people will always react to us not according to who we are, according to who they are. I have a habit. How do I treat opportunities? I call it, say yes, just to be on the safe side. Now it has to be based on your values, of course. Don't say yes for anything. It has to be based on your values, but most of the time we don't say yes because we are afraid to fail. And later on I, will, I have some ideas to share with you about failure, which is connected to success very strongly. Say yes just to be on the safe side and I add to it, why take a risk? You know, failure and success are going together. The more you fail, there is more chance that you will succeed. I failed so many times in my life. So many times. This is personal management, how to treat failure. Say yes, just to be on the safe side. Think about yourself. If you are strong, if you manage yourself very well, you will take decisions, you will understand the opportunity, and you will sit on it, we say in Hebrew, until it will work, until it will work. You won't change your mind quickly. And some people, they take time until they take decisions, then after a day they change their minds. You want people in your organization that when you give them a task, they do it no matter what. No matter what, we have to learn this, because success is there. But it connected very well with failure. This word, enthusiasm. My dear friends, 
Conducting success, how do we conduct ourselves? How do we conduct our enthusiasm? If I will not come in front of you today to give a lecture with enthusiasm, all the way from the Philharmonic to here, I thought to myself, I repeated, this is going to be a great lecture. I'm going to love this lecture. I love these people. It is going to be wonderful. I give my best. This is the way I manage myself. This is the way I talk to myself. I am my partner. Enthusiasm. My friends, if you go back to your company and you have a great idea and you come to your people, you know, I have a great idea. My idea is, you know, they fall asleep. Drink the enthusiasm. Drink your ideas. First of all, work with it and bring life to it, you know. Bring life to it. And if you work on enthusiasm, people will follow you. This is the first thing. The next uh, sentence refers to uh, Winston Churchill. I think so. And he said like this. Success consists on going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. My friend, to succeed in life means to go from failure to failure and not losing enthusiasm because we stand back on our feet. And this is so important to understand and we have to work on it. We, the conductors, hear the music. Listen carefully. Before it appears in the physical world, we hear it inside. I hear this club before. I hear it. And then I puff, catch it. And when I conduct Beethoven Symphony No. 5, I hear inside exactly what I want. I hear this. Ba -ba -ba -bom, ba -ba -ba -ba. And then I go, get on stage. I hear it. I look at the people and I manifest it from my imagination inside. Like what you sell in your companies, like your ideas. You have to see it perfectly in your mind and to manifest it. This is the idea of leadership in conducting. We have to be there before our people. And when the orchestra recognize that the manager, the conductor, hears everything inside before it happens, they get confident. They feel good and they want to follow him. And this is very important for you to understand. Um, I wrote down three principles that characterize the way that our mind works. Listen carefully. Principle number one, only I think in my mind. Is it okay? Did you ever think about the fact that you and only you have ever thought inside your head? No one else have ever thought inside your head and you never thought in anyone else's head. You have the freedom, you have your world in your head. Principle number two. Our mind can think only one thought at any given moment. Even if thoughts are changing from a second to second, still there is a room in our mind for one thought at a time. Okay? And if you just had now a thought, rejecting this idea, so rejection was there, but not the idea anymore. Only one thought at a time. And principle number three, we can think at any moment whatever thought we choose. Ludwig van Beethoven. What does he do here? You know, there are many reasons why this piece is so powerful. There are many reasons why this piece has such presence. But I'm going to share with you one reason only. 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 Something strange happened. I've repeated myself. That, that was that was I did. And already your curiosity was aroused. Aroused. What happening here? Beethoven is doing just the same thing. He's repeating this motif of ta 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 tam. Hundred seventy times only the first movement. 
パパパパーンパパパパーンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダダンタケダ So don't we have to ask ourselves what is my ta 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 tam? Me the manager? What is going on in my head that is repeated again and again and again and again and again that creates my presence, my power, my communication with all that entails? Everything starts from there in the inner world, in the way that you work with your partner. The manager that you are, with the only one person that will be beside you until your last day, as I said at the beginning. And this is for me the time to tell you that、uh, I would love to see you again, whether here or in China. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.